cooking with Marie. Coronavirus! Yo! Coronavirus! So we ain't got nothing else to do today but cook with a me. Cooking with a me. Marie, how y'all doing today? I'm bored. So let's eat. Or try to eat. So come on over here. Okay, so what we're preparing today is a stuffed potato. <laughs> yeah, um, this is a bell pepper. So potatoes. <laughs> I did it again. Other way. Bell peppers. Okay. <clears throat> so inside the bell pepper, of course, we're gonna cut it out. Want to add the cheesy. Cheesy rice, broccoli, broccoli. Some of them will have sauteed mushrooms, chicken, and I'll fry it over. So, first step is we go ahead and prep our bell peppers. We want to cut around it and pull this, the stem out, and clean the inside. So come on. Now I also have a sink full of dish water because I like to wash my dishes as I go. I don't like washing a lot of dishes afterwards. I do wash my hands and rinse all my vegetables off. And I'll show y'all that I um, wash my chicken. I want y'all to see that part. All right. So I'm gonna just cut around. Be careful. And that's as best as I can get that one. Sometimes it might be a little hard to pull it up. So I try to cut it right there in the stem. Ooh, y'all, this one's stubborn. Ooh, hold on. Whew, we gotta get in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, that was hard. But basically, you wanna get it all hollow. I try to get all the seeds in one pool. Then I'm gonna clean this off, of course, by throwing it in the trash can. One minute, please. Now, if you can see inside of there, it's a little bit left. A little, a little bit left over, so I'm going to just cut it out. And when I rinse it out, it'll just come out. I have a little mitt at the bottom of my pan to catch all the extra Yes, I called it a mitt. It's okay. All right, this is my last one. So I learned that it's better to cook, cut on the outside for some bell peppers because it's just way easier. Usually cut around the stem, but now I'm just gonna cut around the whole outside part so it's easier to grip the stem part so you can just pull out the seeds and empty the inside whatever and i'm just pushing all the seeds out of there and i'm gonna rinse it off and then and then i'll start on my other vegetables because I don't want my chicken sitting out too long, I'm going to rinse that off and start putting that on the skillet. And I did see a couple seeds on the inside of this bell pepper. So I'm going to cut those out and rinse that out. Don't get up to me about the water is running. I know y'all probably cringing right now. Now we're going to 
gonna open this chicken. I see the little stopper thing. I called it a neck earlier. It's kind of cool. It helps me keep up with all the food that goes down the drain. Kind of stops it from getting down there. Now, when you handle chicken, you have to handle it really carefully. And just leave that on the inside. Water. I need to give me a um, wash my hands first. Please. I need to give me a like a paper plate to put on so I can transfer them to my skillet. And then pull my seasonings out and open those up so I don't have to touch you no know, touch it or whatever. So after I rinse them all, put them on this plate, wash my hands again, and then start frying them on the, not frying them, but saute them, almost. And I already have my oven preheated to 350. So now I'm going to get my seasons up. And my seasoning choice, of course you know your girl loves black pepper. Because this one is be like Alfredo, I'm we'll gonna get some Italian seasoning. And then Cajun seasoning. And I already have some salt poured out pink Himalayan salt. On my front eye, I'm gonna turn it, turn it on for my. I already washed mushrooms, put a little um, butter in my skillet, and season those as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open my containers so it won't be hard. And then I'll get back to rinsing my chicken out. So, two much chicken. Crunchy. Oh crap. <laughs> Country crock, not the crunchy. So this container do have butter in it, you guys. These are some nice thick skillets. Try not to scrape it so much so they stay that way. I see a lot of people who cook and um, saute things with um, olive oil. But I really don't agree with it. Because if you cook olive oil too long to a certain temperature, it can become acidic. Butter ain't a good alternate, but I already just stay with the old school stuff. So. And I meant alternate. Alternate. Kind of says, I mean, now I'm going to go ahead and throw some of these in. For all of them, maybe. Excuse me, I'm up a little bit. That in my Thank you. 
Now because I have my um, bell peppers already ready, I'm going to just wrap those up individually with a little more foil. And these are already pre-cut. I'm going to keep my dull side on the inside, my shiny side on the out. Ask me the reason, I don't know. And this is just so, like, it's easier for me to, you know, pick them up and just put on a plate. Now, we got that out the way, I'm going to move this over to the side. things of rice. After we cook all the rice, we're going to mix in our alfredo. Let me stir everything around right quick. So I'm going to just flip these over. She don't like mushrooms, y'all. Tell her she missing out. I like my mushrooms a little soft. They're almost done. I spread those out. Chicken. So I don't overcook it. And I can leave the moisture inside. Ooh. Now I'm going to move on to my broccoli. I don't need the stem. Cut that off. Mushrooms are done, so now I can move on with my broccoli. I'm gonna throw this away. Don't kill me because I'm throwing this part away. I don't know how to make a meal out of that part. I'm just gonna gently throw these in there. Oh. Last one. All right. Spread that out and then take this top and put it over here. There we go. So that's done. Now I'm gonna put my rear eye on, <coughs> and then I can get. Ready for 
my rice. After the rice is done, I can use my ragu, mix everything up. After I clean my chopping board off, I can take my chicken out, shred it up, and then we can start stuffing our bell peppers. Right now, I'm gonna actually run some stuff on. Clean up a little bit. So I get everything done, y'all. All I gotta do now is mix it up. I don't have a mixing bowl. I moved them to my apartment and I didn't think nothing about buying a mixing bowl. So I took my larger skillet and I'm gonna mix my stuff in there. My chicken is shredded up, so I'm gonna throw some in there. I might have some leftover chicken. I can figure out what I want to do with that. Probably can do some shredded tacos or something. And I'll tell him. I'm just grabbing enough for the total of six bell peppers. I guess that's half. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on. Oh, how do I need to give me something to scoop my stuff out with? Move on to my broccoli. I got those steamed up. Look at them. Now look at that um, rice. Look how much broccoli they put in there. You <laughs> see that? That's sad. Little leaves. That's about it. So I'm going to scoop this stuff out. Put it in my chicken. Because I like vegetables. I don't know about y'all, but I love them. I love them. And fruit, too. I'm not going to put the mushrooms in there because Ocean do not like mushrooms. So, after I prepare hers, then I'll, you know, put it in there or whatever. I'm going to rinse my spoon off. My rice is done. Mm -hmm. right. So I know it's frowned upon. This is cheddar cheese, but as you can tell, it's not really cheesy. So I'm going to add Alfredo to supplement. It's just something about Alfredo sauce, y'all. So, this is ragu, creamy basil, alfredo. Shake it up real good. Yeah, did y'all hear that? You said ragu? All right. <laughs> I'm going to mix it up. All right, I gotta be a little careful. I'm breathing hard because I'm fat, so don't don't mind. And it's hot. Yeah. Ooh, y'all hear that? Mm-hmm. I'm a, ooh. I almost like macaroni. So this will be the filling of my of my um bell pepper. So really you can just eat it like this. But um I like bell peppers too. I don't know what's wrong with people sometimes. But it's my preference, of course. I did buy two ragus. But, you know what? I'm not even going to make Ocean eat the bell pepper. I'm going to just make her a little small plate, put it to the side, and put my mushrooms in here because she tripping. Yes, Lord. Now, you know, you know what? I'm going to put the top on here. And put it upside down. Usually some people add water. 
I'm not gonna do that to that. I don't want no water in there. It's already. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm gonna chop it up a little bit for my broccoli. I might add the other ragu though. I'm not gonna add another whole jar, but I might add to where I feel comfortable because I feel like that's a little dry. We still waiting on that other one. Ooh, ooh, there we go. That's it right there. Right there. That's it right there. That hit the spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and ooh, hit on. Y'all try this recipe out. I didn't learn it from anybody. It's just I put stuff together out of boredom. So y'all let me know how it tastes and y'all try it out. You know what? It's not enough chicken in here, so I might go ahead and put the rest of my chicken in there. Because I like my stuff meaty as well. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing that. Definitely. Definitely. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. So I'm going to go ahead and start stuffing the turkey. I mean, the bell pepper. I'm going to try to do this as gentle as pop. You know what? The spoon is way too big. Okay, plan two. I mean, bigger. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Per perfect. Feed it. Yes. Oh, oh. Stuff it on in there. And just, oof. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get that top. Which way it's supposed to go? Right here. And that's the stuffed bell pepper. And then I'll show y'all what it looked like afterwards. Stay tuned! And then I will make sure that I put them in the oven, of course. I did say stay tuned, but I had to let y'all know that I put them in the oven. We're not just going to eat raw bell peppers. How long I'm going to put it in there? I really don't know. I just put it in there until it started turning brown at the top. It's based off the texture. Stay tuned. Food should be done. Should be. It is. Mm. 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 Okay. Feed this. I got this meat from Dollar the Dollar Tree. Super thin, so I'm gonna burn my hand if I don't use my towel. That's wet. <laughs> so, I'll get another one at a later time. Oh, Jesus. I'm use my towel, which is a decoration towel. Hold up. That's how you know it's done. It just looked like it's done. That's about it. Hold it. Turn it off. What I'm going to do is open one up for you on camera so you can see the texture. And then what I do is take the top off. I don't eat this part. Some people do. Not my preference. I'm gonna throw that away. That was cute though. And then I just take my spoon and I just chop it up like that. Eat it like that and then break off my bell pepper 
whenever I'm ready to eat my bell pepper. Bon appetit. Make sure I get everything that I put in there on my spoon. Got the mushroom. Next cookie, we're gonna read. I'll let you.